Now we've got another uh, great keynote that's going to come up here. Mr. Charles Yang, who's the president of Huawei Middle East, please join me in er, please join me in welcoming Charles. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's my pleasure to be here. Many thanks for Tony providing this chance. Just now, I think many thanks for Mr. Jufa and the most the greater vision and the view. I feel the same way. Frankly speaking, the mobile communication have profoundly changed the world. And uh, I think uh, without the mobile broadband network and the smartphones, we cannot work and live in such a smart way. So I think this is uh, an incredible accomplishment. And it's a beginning for the future. Today, I think we need to look ahead and how we could take our industry to the last level. Last month, Huawei just launched our MBB 2020 strategy. By 2020, we, were, we aim to support the 6.7 billion the mobile broadband users to connect the unconnected people. And we aim to support the average connection speed of one gigabit per second to build the better experience. And we aim to support one billion ubiquitous connectivity to realize the connectivity network. So today, I would like to share my view on where we are going and how we can get there. First, connected people is still our top first priority. We will focus on bridge the digital divide <coughs> and enhancing the user experience. In, according to Huawei recent research about the Middle East connectivity, we found that GCC have achieved 183% mobile phone penetration and 122 mobile broadband penetration. At the same time, export trades accounted 47% of, of the population in GCC. And 80% of them have low access to the internet. And in Samina region, there are only 34% individuals and 36% homes are connected to the network. Unfortunately, most of the unconnected people live in the developing country. Compared with those in GCC, these people are lack of access to the future opportunity and better education. This has created the, the big gap in terms of the geoeconomic growth around the world. So now, mobile communication can play an important role in terms of bridging the digital divide. So, from Huawei side, we would like to cooperate with all our partners to bridge the, new di the digital divide. As Mr. Jufa just mentioned, now there is another obstacle ahead of us. According to our research, IoT needs 1,960 megahertz to realize the ubiquitous connectivity. However, now there are only 640 megahertz are available for our telecom operator in Samina region. Besides the obstacle of lack of the spectrum, the cost of the spectrum is another obstacle for us. For example, in China, it only needs 300 million US dollars for China Mobile to get the LTE spectrum. But in Germany, the, one of the top operators paid nearly 3 billion US dollars, which is 10 times to get the same spectrum. When connecting people, we 
The quality of the connectivity is just as important as the quantity. This is why we focus on the user experience. Consumers are always demanding. They want high definition voice, they want high definition videos, and zero wait time. All of these are our opportunity, but also challenges for us in all to season this opportunity. We have introduced the new emerging technology like LTE, but truly succeed. We should change the way we think about network planning and network operation. For example, we need to expand our focus from network to users, from network performance to user experience. Furthermore, we need to develop a set of indicators for user experience in addition to the network KPIs. Most importantly, these indicators must be definable, measurable, manageable, and eventually all of them must be monetizable. I'm very happy to see some operators take the user experience as their strategy task. For example, STC, focus on improving the user experience life cycle, including the users, the users' awareness, purchase, usage, and support. Now, the user experience has become one of the important KPI of their network marketing, network planning, network operation, and a call center. Now, I would like to share my second view. Beyond connecting people, we are expanding to connecting things. As you know, we are in the theory, the era of Internet of Things, IoT. This is a huge opportunity for the entire mobile industry. Larger scale IoT requirements are emerging already. For example, now in Middle East, there are many operators, telecom operators, have taken action already. It is another recently performed a successful field test of the smart parking technology with the base, with the base station. As an industry, we need to speed up the process to making IoT as a standard. And the, all of this must be based on the ubiquitous connectivity network. Of course, telecom sector, telecom sector has a unique advantage in sense of accessibility. <coughs> and now, new technologies are emerging very quickly. And this will generate competition in IoT market. We should take the action. First is the standards. We need to develop unified IoT standards to promote the cross-industry development as I just mentioned, it is another. Do the same way in this industry. The second is the cost. As you know, IoT leads a larger a number of collections. If managed in the traditional way, the cost would be huge and unacceptable. So we believe if the cost of the communication module can be less than five US dollars, it will be it will help to larger scale deployment. And we also believe if the cost can be less than one dollar, I think it will need to explosive growth. Just now, as Mr. Jufa mentioned, the ecosystem. I think the IoT market will be more fragmented compared with the traditional technical market because of their large number of use cases applications, and new business models. So the growth of IoT will highly rely on the collaboration between different stakeholders. So in IoT era, we need to expand our focus from the managing technology and network to establishing an ecosystem. We are very pleased to see now the carriers Vendors, vertical industries have begun working together to research the application 
such as the internet, a vertical, and the smart city and smart grids. Today, I think in this Telecom Review Summit, I firmly believe is another perfect opportunity to deeply explore the ecosystem development. Ladies and gentlemen, now the digital transformation is creating huge opportunity for the whole industry. From connecting people to connecting things, I think very soon we will embrace the fully connected and intelligent industry and world. And I think ICT will become the primary enabler of these opportunities for all industry. I'm confident on that. Mobile broadband and network will become the enabler of the enabler in this process. I think we also believe our industry need to be prepared for these opportunities by applying great effort to the strategic innovation, the mobile, the, the, the business model innovation. Huawei, as a technology provider, we would like to support our customer to build the future-oriented network with our sustainable contribution to the spectrum strategy, to the air interface, to the network architecture and site solution. Please join us to discuss how make this strategy hit the, hit the ground running. Ladies and gentlemen, we are standing at the great euro. This is a mobile euro, an euro in which mobile technology is changing this world more rapidly than ever before. As long as we dare to dream and work together, we have so confidence to build a better connected world. Thank you all of you. Shukran. Thank you very much, Charles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.